I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it through. This is my testimony. Guys, we hear such a song at this time of the year. What will come at the back of your mind? Is it really just amazing to see a whole cycle of 365 days gone? You are in good health, you are still alive, and you are preparing for another cycle of 365 days. Regardless of the challenges that you've been passing through all through the year, but you are in good health and still alive that is surely a gift that we should all say thank you to our creator right on this one question i've always been asking myself more so when i prepare for a new dispensation is why me the same question i want you guys to ask yourself why you why are you still alive today and not your friend? Why are you still alive today and not that neighbor of yours? Why are you still alive today and not the other person? Why you? <laughs> I've never found a solution to this, which I believe also you guys, if you ask yourself whenever you see like you are on the wall, just ask yourself that question and you'll always find a, uh, you'll always find a strength to move on. So in this case, as we prepare to usher in a new year, I want to share my thoughts. And these are my thoughts, guys. As we are preparing to usher in a new year, I'll always want these two words to tangle at the back of our mind always. Dream and hope. Remember, like, uh, dream is always a very unique element in each and every human being that universe has designed it in a way that you can't explain it to a person as much as he or she will assist you towards achieving that but that dream is always yours you know like it's a fingerprints if you take your twin brother or sister if you have or even your own blood brother you never share your fingerprints right it is always very different the same case with dream dream is something that will define you this is something that you are born with even without realizing that you had that dream it was already in you so if you may ask where did the dream came from and having noted that it is uniquely yours so you'll find that it's something that you are born with You'll find that uh, a man without a dream is like a dead man. So at this point, guys, as you are going to the new year, regardless of what you've been doing, regardless of the challenges that you've been passing through all, all along, I will want you guys to reignite that dream that you had while you are growing, that dream that you had while you are facing a lot of challenges and you are always like this is something that will always trigger you towards achieving what you really wanted and that of course is the dream go for it and by the way i always tend to say like uh, dream is the only qualification that will take you to a place you've ne you've always wished to be dream and the funny thing is that uh, with dream, you'll find that it is still in us. With probably, with probably forces that we can't even explain. Like, at this point, if I may ask you this question today. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Majority of the guys will define themselves with probably their names, with probably their titles, with probably their career. But the real question is, is that really you? Yeah? Is that really you? 
I don't want you to answer this question right now, but always just tend to ask yourself that question. Who are you? And that will take me back to the question that we had started with. Why you? Why are you still alive today? Yeah, these are some of the questions that if you try to search all over the universe, at times you might fail to find the solution to them. But they're very controversial, not controversial only, but these are questions that will define us. These are questions that will define us. So as we are going to the new year, guys, always try to answer yourself the two questions. And let that dream always be there because it is something that you are born with. Now, let me talk about the second element, which is hope. Hope is now the fuel. Fuel that will drive you towards achieving that dream. And anything that a man can lose, let it be the last thing, and that is hope. Regardless of what you are going through, regardless of the challenges that you are suffering, let hope be the last thing that you are going to lose. As always, let me take a good example of churches, right? There is no church that is not selling hope. Regardless of the perspective that you're going to take it, but look at it well. There is no church that is not selling hope. Why? Because hope is a fuel that any human being will always require for him or her to go to the next step. Regardless of who you are, hope will always be the fuel towards achieving whatever that you want to. And this, whatever that you want to achieve, of course, is the dream. So you'll find that they are in sync. So guys, at this point in time, as we are going to the new year, I'll want this was to always remain with us in everything that we are doing. That is dream and hope. These two words will take you to places you've never been before. These two words will kind of change your destiny forever, if at all you can take it in that manner. And anytime you are on the wall, always pause and ask yourself the question, why are you still alive? It is because probably you've not achieved the purpose that you are created for. It is because you're, you've not achieved that dream that was instilled in you by your creator. Meaning that there is still hope for you to achieve whatever that you want to achieve. Guys, at this point in time also, I want to give my thanksgiving to you guys. I will want to say thank you so much for the trust, for the love, that you've bestowed in us all through the year. It is because of you that we are here today. It is because of the support that you've given us that we are here today. I want to say thank you so much, guys. And as we are heading towards a new year, the tribe of M. Darasa, mostly. I know some of you guys You've taken him the Rasa as your tribe. Let that spirit continue because we have our own custom and beliefs, which I know and I really wish that however or whichever uh, uh, spectra that you are in this globe, you can join him the Rasa tribe. Right? You can join him the Rasa tribe. So, guys, I wish you all the best that this life can give. As we prepare to uh, as we prepare to usher in this new year, let you go for that dream. May your dream be achieved. May that hope 
always be there. Thank you so much, guys. And as you are finalizing, recall the song that you have started with. That song, repeat it again and again and again. And I know you'll find a sense to that song, guys. If we can close with that song, this, this is a song, guys, by Sarah K. And it is my dedication to you this year, 2023, that at any given point, whenever you find yourself to be on the wall, listen to that song. And I believe it will always give you strength to move forward. It's a very nice song by Sarah K, which I'm going to share with us, guys, as we are finalizing this talk. And I don't know how I did it I made it through And I can't tell how I did it But one thing I know Jehovah took it over And that is how I made it through This is my testimony I made it through And I don't know how I did it I made it through And I can't tell how I did it But one thing I know Jehovah took it over All the best and guys I in our year 2023 And I wish you a happy new year 2023 Goodbye guys